All right, Shalom. So <clears throat> that's JMS on the go. Come back at you another lesson through Spirit Power Yah by Shemuel Shah. But before we get into the lesson, we give all, on, all honor and all glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakwadash. Next up, we want to give double honors to our Apostle Elder Gray Milson, who taught us 100% truth of the Bible and we rule well. Peace, love, salutations to all the brothers across the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth and our diligence and sincerity, man. And we're just going to jump straight into a lesson through the Spirit, you know, on the day of the Lord and what to expect, right? That's right, you know, because contrary to popular belief, you know, the whole world thinking that the day of the Lord is all smiles, you know, hugs, kisses, good times, laughter. You see, and that's not how the day of the Lord is going to really be, you know, when all hell starts breaking loose. Mm -hmm. You see, if anything, when you open up this Bible and read it, it tells you how the day of the Lord is going to be. You see, the day of the Lord is evil. It's, it, it, you know, it's bad times. It's, right. it's going to be calamities at the calamities. It's right. You know, so like the brother said, we're going to flow through the spirit and get. we're going to grab our first precept. This is Amos. Chapter 5, verse 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of Yahweh by Shemuel Washai. And that's right. That word woe means death and destruction. So death and destruction unto two-thirds of you so-called Negroes like Americans who are desiring the day of Yahweh by Shemuel Washai. You see, who are excited that Yahweh by Shemuel Washai is about to make a speedy return. You see, and come back. It reads on. For what end is it to you? That's right. What end is it to two thirds of you so called Negroes, Latin Americans, the ones of y'all who are designed to dare Yahweh by Shemashah to come back? You see, the end of it to two thirds of you so called Negroes, Latin Americans is death and destruction. Why? Because y'all been wicked your whole life, committing a whole bunch of abominations, wicked, filthy acts. Doing things that Yahweh Bashi Masha did not take pleasure in. You know, here it is. You got two thirds of our people out here game banging, selling drugs, indulging in sodomy, man with man, woman with woman, marring their beard, making baldness upon their head, you know, worshiping all these different false gods who are no gods, such as Allah, Buddha, the Hindu god of Sheba, Santa Maria, Haile Selassie, and so forth. On. You see, celebrating all these different pagan holidays, such as Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving, Halloween, New Year's, Mother Day. Um, Valentine's Day, you see the list goes on and on. Mm -hmm. You see, so the ones of you so-called Negroes, Latino Americans, two-thirds of y'all who were designed to dare your high my shot, the hair and come back, the end of it to y'all is what? Death and destruction. Mm -hmm. It reads on. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. It reads on. The day of your high my shot is darkness and not light. That's right. So the day of Yahweh Bashim Shah, you know, these times they were fastly approaching, it's darkness and it's not and there's no light in it. You see, meaning what? The day of the Lord is gonna be very bad out here. You see, there's not gonna be nothing good about the day of the Lord. You see, what, what what's good about the day of the Lord knowing that Yahweh Bashim Shah is about to bring race riots, martial law, you see, um FEMA camps with the guillotine inside of them to chop your head off. Mm -hmm. A whole bunch of brutal animals to eat you wicked people to death. You see, uh, 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 these diseases. A famine of food and thirst. You know, the end all be it all, the 200 ICBM missiles that Russia, China, Syria, North Korea, and so forth are going to send to destroy this place called America. Right along with the chariots, what's the word they call UFOs, with the laser beam of fire coming down from the bottom of it. You see, the day of the Lord is darkness. It's a very serious and bad time, and there ain't no light in it. There ain't nothing good about it. So the ones of you so-called Negroes out there, Americans, thinking that the day of the Lord is all hugs and smiles and kisses, you know, in good times, you're sadly mistaken. You see, because the scriptures tell you that the day of the Lord is bad, it's evil. That's right. It reads on, verse 19, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him mm. or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent met and a serpent bit him. And that's right. You know, so the, so the ones of you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans, who were designed to dare Yahweh by Shemasha, the end of it to y'all is what? Death and destruction. You see, it's going to be as what? As if a lion, it's, it's going to be as what? If you came up against a lion, and then what? You got away from the lion, and you came up against a bear. You see, then what? You got away from that bear, you came up against that serpent, and that serpent bit you. You see, that's how the dead Lord is going to be. You see, because what? You're going to be faced with one bad incident. You might get away from the race riots. But then what? You're going to come up against the famine of food and thirst. You might escape the famine of food and thirst, but then what? You're going to come up against the diseases. You might escape the diseases, 
but then you're going to come up against what? Martial law. You might skate the martial law, but then you're going to come up against what? The end all be it all. The 200 million ICBM missiles. Right along with the chariots, which the laser beam of fire coming down from the bottom of it, which the word calls UFOs. That's right. You see? So the day of the Lord is a bad and serious time, and there ain't go and there ain't gonna be no escaping for two thirds of you so called Negroes, Latin Americans. You will have to go through the day of the Lord. The only ones that's gonna escape the day of the Lord is the elect. Lord willing, me and this brother, you know, Arthur said Akium throughout the four corners of the earth will be at that number to where we ain't gotta go through the day of the Lord. You see, right. and even if we do have to go to the day of the Lord, so like you, and even if we do have to go through the day of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim is going to be protecting us so that we won't have to get um, caught up in it. That's right. Right. And just to back that point up, because we will be here in that time, but but what? Unlike, you know, uh, like other camps, man, we preach that um, tribulation is coming, but what? We trust in the Lord, man. And we're going to be saved. I'm going to bring preaching yep, just yeah, on yeah. that point. Hold on, let me finish this up. Okay, so like you, my fault. Mm -hmm. Um, verse 20 Shall not the day of Yahweh Be darkness mm -hmm. And not light Even very dark And no brightness in it Right and that was a question man Should, should the day of the Lord not be uh, darkness and, and not light Of course it should man You so called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans <laughs> man Y'all been going off your That's whole right, lives man. man Your whole lives y'all been uh, Y'all been smoking weed uh, uh, black and mild cigarettes, man, defiling a temple, yep. right? Eating Sleeping. either bottom of foods. That's right. Sleeping but, with the, yeah, right? Go ahead. Yeah. My fault, I'm messing you up. No, nah, you good. Abominable foods, shrimp, pork, crab, lobster, man. The, 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 the bottom fee is where, which you treat as delicacies here in, in Babylon the Great, man, aka America. And uh, getting tattoos all on your body, uh, marring the corners of your beards and your faces, man, making baldness upon your heads, man, right? Uh, worshiping these pagan holidays, man, Christmas. Uh, Christmas, uh, uh, Thanksgiving, St. Patrick's Day, Valentine's Day, right? Uh, Halloween, you know, uh, uh, worshiping these false idols, gods who are no gods, right? That's Buddha, right. Allah, Santa Maria, right? Halal, ha, ha, Halis yeah, Halis Selassie, Baphomet, Baphomet Serapis. Right? Yeah. You see all these false gods who are no gods, like the brother Bufi said. That's right. You see, so the day of the Lord, it should be darkness and no light in it. Mm -hmm. You see, because you people are wicked. That's right. You, you, you're doing your own thing. You see, not fearing your high bashim al So the day of the Lord is going to be darkness. It's going to be bad. And there ain't going to be no light in it. ain't going to be nothing good about the day of the Lord. That's right. And uh, it was that it on that? Yep. And I'm just, um, I got two precepts. Um, okay, I'm right bring it on out, brother. Bring yeah, it on right, out. Right quick, just to back the brother up, uh, you know, on the way he's going to through the spirit, on the elect, right? <clears throat> Even in, in these times, this is Second Ezra chapter uh, 2, verse 27. Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, right, the day of trouble and heaviness, man. What day is that talking about, man? The day of the Lord, That's man. That's right, bro. That's what that day is talking about. But it says, be not weary, right? Because what? And it reads on, others shall weep and be sorrowful. Mm. Right. So so while all the things are going on on, these, on, on this day, man, all these things are going to be kicking off. People are going to be getting put to death left and right. Gurga troops, martial law, race riots, the famine of food and thirst, right? Diseases. Diseases, pestilence, right? Right? Others are going to be sorrowful. But what? It reads, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. Mm. Right? So those of us who are of the hopeful elect, right, who are out here right now adhering to the words uh, of these scriptures, man, and to the best of our ability, doing the, uh, following the lost education commandments of the Bible, right? We in that day, we shouldn't we shouldn't be worried, man. That's right. Not 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 nope. going on topic, nope. but it said, read that again. Yep, from the top. That, not that Mary part. Yep. But thou shalt be merry and have abundance. That's right. It said thou shalt be merry and have abundance. Going back to Isaiah on sixty six and on on thirteen. That we're gonna rejoice in that day. That's right. You see, we we we're gonna be we're gonna rejoice in when all hell breaks loose. Mm -hmm. But what? Two thirds of our people, they're gonna be ashamed. That's right. And it's like you're right. Two thirds two thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man. Those are who are gonna be uh sorrowful and and, and, and weak, man. And of yep. course the heathens are too, but that's just that just goes without saying. But you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man, you had the chance right now to adhere to this word, man. And you know, and you know, this is just all going into on a nutshell how the day the Lord is gonna be. That's right. On, on on both sides of the coin, for you those who are gonna be weeping sorrowful, and for those who uh, who the Lord are actually gonna bring through this time, man. That's right, so, bro. I, I just wanna get that, and I got this uh, second Ezra right here. Out. 
right? Uh, just backing up the brother point again through spirit, man. Uh, um, uh, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man, been um, wicked your whole lives, right? So for that, this is uh, Second Ezra chapter fifteen, uh, verse five. Behold, say of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, uh, Yahweh being heavenly Father. Who the word ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shah being uh, who the word ignorantly calls uh, Jesus Christ, That's right? right. Uh, verse 5 Behold, save the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, right? The Lord is going to bring plagues upon the world, right? Just like He did in ancient Egypt. He brought plagues on them, right? What was it? That heavy darkness, the rivers of blood, mm -hmm. the locusts, and, and many, amongst many other things. But now the Lord's going to bring it upon the world, man. Mm -hmm. And it reads, the, the sword, mm -hmm. any killing instrument, right? Anything that you use to put another man to death. And the men, I'm talking about man as in men, women, and children, right? And real quick, it said that sword. And that main sword that Yahweh Bashimah is going to use is Esau the so-called white that's man. That's right, that's right, that's right, bro. Yep. You see, Yahweh Bashimah is going to use Esau the so-called white man yeah. to get that two-thirds of you so-called Negro right. and Latino Native Americans. That's absolutely right, bro. Yep. Yep, in the form of what? The Gorga Troopers, right? Yep. The Race Riot, concentration camps, yep. FEMA camps, concentration FEMA camps, right? Yep, just just putting you, you uh, two-thirds, you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans to death, man. And it reads, again, the sword, famine, right? Famine what? What does that word famine mean? A lack of something, a shortage of something. That's right. Famine of what? Uh, uh, food and thirst, right? Mm -hmm. It's going to first start off with the famine of the word. Cause once the Lord takes his his men off the streets, man, that's when shit is. That's when you know the stuff is about to get real, man. Yep. It's gonna be a shortage of food. You ain't gonna be able to eat. You gonna have to decide whether or not you gonna you got you gonna eat your son or your daughter. That's right. You know yeah. because you know so like you brought me to cut you I mean, off. Um, but like the brother was saying, you know it's gonna be a shortage of food. Yep. You know your, your McDonald's gonna be closed yep. down. Your Burger Kings, your Taco Bells, yep. all your restaurants gonna be closed down. Yep. All your stores where you go grocery shopping. You know your food lines. You know your um. Uh, uh, your Sam's Club, all that stuff can be closed down. It's gonna be a shortage of food where you can't get food or water. That's right, bro. That's right. And it reads on death mm. and destruction, right? So the Lord is bringing the sword, famine, death, and destruction, man. That ain't nothing nice, man. That ain't nothing nice. And here's the point right here, right? Verse 6 For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Mm. Uh, Therefore, save the Lord. And I just bring that out, like the brother said, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. When the when the last when Amos went into uh, uh, where's the end of the uh, uh, woe to those that desire the day of the Lord, man. Y'all uh, y'all been uh, and that wickedness first and foremost is chiefly the so-called white man. First and foremost, Esau, Edom. But what uh, like the scripture said, you, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are of your father the devil, man. That's right. Y'all been wicked your whole lives. Uh, uh, going uh, for, uh, going against the law, statutes, commandments of the scriptures, man. So what? The Lord is gonna bring plagues upon the world, man. That's right, bro. Beautifully said. Kind, of, kind, of, bro. Maybe you got another. One? Yep. Mm -hmm. This is Jeremiah chapter thirty, verse seven. That's right. At last, for that day is great, so that none is like it. That's right. For that day is great, for none is like it. Right. So what are some days to 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 compare the uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, right, yep. with the fire and brimstone? Right, the flood with Noah, mm -hmm. where the Lord only saved eight people. Yep. Right, the uh, uh, ancient Egypt, ancient Egypt with right? all the plagues that came upon ancient Egypt. That's right, and and uh, and and, 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 and other than seventy AD. AD. I was just about to do the spit seventy AD. Right, slavery, yep. five hundred years of hardcore bondage. Yep. Right, and and it's like y'all said, what days to compare? But what? None of them days are gonna compare at all to this day, man. That's right, man. They all gonna be consolidated into one day, man. You it's going to be like none other. That's right, bro. Mm -hmm. This is Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. At last, for that day is great, mm -hmm. so that none is like it. Mm -hmm. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. Yep. But he should be saved out of it. But who is Jacob, man? Jacob, the progenitor of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans of the 12 tribes of Israel. Because Jacob, whose name was changed into Israel, Israel being a people before it's a place, man. Mm -hmm. That's going to be Jacob's trouble, man. Jacob's trouble. The day of the Lord, he's coming to uh, uh, bring his wrath upon you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans, and the rest of the world, and these heathens. But what, man? He should be saved out of it. So those of the hopeful elect, man, you're not going to have to worry. Like going back to that second Ezra, man, uh, while people are going to be weeping and sorrowful, you're going to be merry and have abundance, man. That's right. 
So, uh, so those of us who who are through the best of our ability, uh, you know, following the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible, man, uh, uh, you should have no worries, man. That's right, bro. Mm -hmm. And that's right. And just laying back, you know, the scripture it said what? At last, that day is great, so that none is like it. Cause like like me and the brother was going into, you know, no time on the face of the earth can compare to this time. Mm -hmm. You see, because what? When this time that we're fast approaching. You gonna have all hell breaking loose. Mm -hmm. You gonna have uh, so many. You gonna have. You gonna have so much. So many things going on. You are gonna have race riots going on, martial law, famine of food and thirst. You see, you gonna have diseases. A whole bunch of brutal animals. The Abba Shemashah is gonna unleash against the masses. You gonna have Leviathan, Bigfoot. You gonna have um, 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 the end all be it all. The two hundred million ICBM missiles right along with the chariots, which the world mm -hmm. calls UFOs, with the laser beam of fire coming down from the bottom of it. You see. <laughs> None of these times on the face of Earth can compare to what we're going to have to go through. If I can say, bro, and you gotta do, you gotta do your history. You gotta read, man. We was eating, we was eating in seventy AD. We was eating leather, man. We was eating belts, man. <laughs> That's right, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's right. We, we was, we it was rough, man. That was a bad time, man. The 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 Edomites they cut us off to where we can't leave or come in, mm -hmm. right? So what? They starved us out, man. I, I don't know. It's like if I'm wrong, if if it was a part of 70 AD, but the account of the woman who lied to the other woman about uh, eating her kid. I can't hey, well, well, right hey, well, th In that situation, I'm just saying all that to say, that was happening then, and that day ain't got nothing to um, uh, to compare to the day that's coming. Yeah. You had you had people lying and say, hey, look, man, we're going to eat my kid this day, and we're going to eat we're gonna eat your kid today. I know exactly yeah. what you're talking about. We're going to eat your kid today, and then... Uh, and then tomorrow we're gonna eat my kid. And then after after the after the lady uh, after they ate the lady kid, what well, she up and booked. She yeah. was gone. Yeah, I know. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, yeah, hey, look, man. We shoot. Hey, look, it's gonna be. Hey, and I'm not even. I'm not even gonna speak too much on it because this next precept is gonna is gonna is gonna break that down. Yeah. Bring it up. Okay. This is Second Ezra, chapter uh, fifteen, verse fourteen. Woe to the world. Mm. And them that dwell therein, woe to the world, uh, death and destruction to the world, right? And those that dwell therein, right? Mm -hmm. What physically and spiritually, man? Those who don't want to uh, come up out of this world through the spirit and power, Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, with these scriptures, with wisdom and knowledge of these scriptures, what man? Woe to you, man! Because only thing that's gonna come to you is death and destruction if you don't have this. This uh, this should be the uh, wisdom and stability of our times, man. Pursuant to Isaiah thirty three and six, man. Mm -hmm. Verse 15, for the sword and their destruction draw of nigh. Right, so the world and those that draw in, the sword, like many brothers going into, starting chiefly with the so-called white man, and Esau, Edom, the sword, any killing instrument, right? And the destruction of this world and those that draw in are nigh, nigh at hand, man, rapidly approaching. And it reads, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands, right? So one people, what is that? What is that symbolizing, man? That symbolizes race riots, uproars of the people, man, right? Uh, one people shall stand up against another people with swords in their hands, right? Modern day sword is what? A gun, you know, a pistol, a knife, a baseball bat, what? Uh, a, what like a, a wheel jack, right? Or the uh, the lug nut jacks, whatever a man can pick up to put another man to death, man, is what's gonna be going on. That's what you're gonna be seeing out here in, in these streets real soon, man. And it reads on, verse 16, For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Right. right. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to break that down from the top. For there shall be sedition among men, right? So there's gonna be there's gonna be a sedition among there's gonna be a split, there's gonna be a divide amongst men. People are gonna go back to their own nations, man. They're gonna go back to their own sects, right? Their own people where they feel more comfortable at. So all your white friends, don't be surprised when they turn their back on you, right? Mm -hmm. Because uh because they just gonna go where they fit in, man. And it reads, and invading one another. So what? Uh like that account we was going into, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh with that woman. Uh, of course, she didn't really like invade, but what? She stole the woman's kid, and, and and they ate the woman's kid, and then she got up out of there, man. Invading one another, people gonna be running to people's houses, uh, kicking down doors, mm -hmm. you know, ravishing women, right? Yep. Stealing things, right? Things that we they might need, taking whatever they can get their whatever hands they can on. get their hands on, man. 
and it reads, they shall not regard their kings nor princes. Right, the president ain't gonna say, ain't gonna have nothing to say, man. When, when the president get up on TV and, and, and tell everybody to calm down, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what, what, what? Prayer and all this stuff is gonna get you through, which it will for the hopeful elect. But ain't nobody gonna regard that. Uh, 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 when, when, when they try to send out the message, yep. messages of peace and safety, man. And it reads. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power, right? So the course of their actions, whatever whatever they shall be doing, is gonna stand within their power. So if you're alone, right, people are gonna be clicking up in gangs and stuff, right? So what? Uh, like you see in The Walking Dead, man, uh, uh, Megan, he had everything going on. Why? Because he had strength in numbers. He had he had people everywhere, man. That's right. He was, yeah. So like, no, I'm no, sorry. No, go ahead, go ahead. And notice he said the course of action is standing in their yeah. power. So that means what? They're going to be here just doing whatever they want to do. Yeah. They're going to be here just wilding out. They ain't going right. to have a care in the world to what the community leaders are saying, the government is saying. They ain't, they ain't going to care what the authorities got to say, nothing. They're going to be doing what they want to do right. that day. That's right. Yep. Oh, yeah, 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 there's more. And, and, and so like, mm -hmm. and, that's, and that's all again, that's all the day of y'all yeah, That's right. That's right, bro. Verse 17. A man shall desire to go into a city. Mm. And shall not be able. Why not? Why wouldn't he be able to go into a city? Because that martial law, man. Them them troops gonna be at every every major highway, man. Them highways that you see them building up right now. What? That's 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 to make it smooth selling for in and out entrance for who? For them gurgle troopers, for them tanks. Yep. Man. For 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 those for those for those uh those uh UN troops, man. That's gonna be coming over here running wild, man. That's what them highways is going to be for. That's originally what highways were meant for, military traffic. It was just so it made it easier for civilian life to have highways, but it's going to go back to its natural use once once uh, Esau cracked down or you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans out here, man. That's right, bro. Yep, and 18, for because their pride and what, what being in America, a.k.a. Babylon the Great, the most prideful nation uh, on the planet, the cities shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and the men shall be afraid, man. Right? Uh, uh, the city shall be troubled because of their pride, man. Right? And the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. So if men, if the men is going to be afraid, how much more for you women out here, man? Uh -huh. How much more uh, uh, for, uh, for you single ladies, you independent women out here, uh, uh, of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man? You jakes. You black women, you Latino women, you Haitian women, uh, Slakia, you uh, 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 you you uh, Hispanic tribes, right? You so, so called, yeah, right, 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 right. So called, right? How much more for you women out here uh, when when the day of the Lord pop off? If the men gonna be afraid? That's right, bro. That's it on that. That's it on that. Oh no, it's not. Slakia, it's like, it's like verse nineteen. A man should have no pity upon his neighbor, mm. right? Right, and that's and that's what I meant to compare to with that woman who ate that other woman's child. Man, she didn't have no pity on that. Man, in the beginning of her mind, man, she said, "Man, we are gonna eat this woman's child, and then we are gonna book." She didn't have no pity on that on that person who was supposed to be uh, somewhat close, or they were supposed to have an agreement at that time. Nah, man, they ain't gonna have a care in the world, man. How can I get over on you so I can make sure me and mine is good? Yep. That's the only. That's that, that's how these people are gonna be in that time, man. And we said the love of many shall so wax cold. cold right? That's, right. That's right. And we said what? Read <clears throat> that again, that bottom yep, part, yep, bro. Yep, yep. The, oh, for, uh, 19. Yep, yep. Yep. Verse 19, Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 19. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. That's right. You know, so in that day, you know, the day of the Lord, you know, when all hell breaks loose, you might have been knowing this person for a very long time. You know, mm -hmm. thank y'all best buds, you know, whatever yep. the case may be. And when all hell started breaking loose, guess what? Your neighbor that you thought you were best buds with, mm -hmm. <laughs> and that day they ain't, they ain't gonna give a damn, man. Yeah, they gonna, gonna be, they gonna be trying to get what they can get in that day. You gonna come home and and and, <laughs> and Sarah and Bob gonna be in your damn refrigerator <laughs> with your with your damn dog in their hand, man. Crazy, man. <laughs> about to put him, about to put, about to put Cujo on the grill, man. <laughs> <laughs> man, they ain't, these months people not gonna be playing in that day, man. We laughing, but it's. <laughs> It's a dead serious time. It man. is. It's it a is. dead serious time. And, and it reads on, but shall destroy their houses with the sword, right? So your neighbor, right? 
and not just your neighbor, anybody, people that you may thought you knew, that you thought was cool, right? Gonna be destroying your house, shooting up your houses, beating down your houses, man, kicking down your doors, right? With the sword, any killing instrument. And it reads, and spoil mm. their goods, like I was saying, because the lack of bread and for great tribulation, for the lack of bread, there ain't gonna be no food out here, man. The stores are gonna be closed. With, uh, I don't know if it was this video, but the brother beef he said through his spirit. Um, yeah, it yeah, this yeah, video ain't gonna be no more McDonald's, ain't gonna be no Wendy's. Uh, the 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 truck supply to restock these stores. What? It's only three days, man. It's only three days. Uh, 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 after three days, the stores are gonna be empty. You know what I mean? And, and you never know when stuff is going to hit the fan. Shoot, the stuff can hit the fan right in the middle on the truck day. So it might, the Lord is the Lord is bad, man. He's going to make sure that uh, <clears throat> you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans feel it, man. Mm -hmm. And it says, for great tribulation, man. Bad times, distress, trouble. That's what's coming. That's what the day of the Lord is about. Mm -hmm. You see, but the thing about it, nobody want to face reality. Yep. They all, they, everybody think that the Lord is all hugs and kisses. Listening to those, uh, those, those, those uh, false prophets, man. Yeah. They wanted to tell them smooth things. Smooth things, yep, yep. What, what, it say, what Colossians say, beware any man. Uh, Spoil you. With, with vain deceits, man. Yep. This is Isaiah chapter 13, verse 6. Hmm. How ye, for the day of Yahweh Bashimah Shai is at hand. You know, and that's right. Look into that word how, it means to cry. And two thirds of you so called Negroes, Latino mm -hmm. Americans, that's what y'all getting ready to do soon come. Why? Because the day of Yahweh Bashimah Shah is at hand, man. Mm -hmm. You see, the day is coming to where Yahweh Bashimah Shah is about to bring a whole bunch of plagues and calamities upon the face of the earth, here to America and all around the four corners of the earth. But mainly to this place called America, because this place called America is wicked as all hell. This is the place where you got sodomy going on, mm. adultery going on, another man sleeping with another man's wife. This is where you got these abominable foods such as shrimp, pork, crab, lots of being promoted. This is where you got um, um, all these false gods who are no gods being worshipped. This is where you got um, all these, um, pe um, um, what is it, all these different um, um, holidays, Obviously. Um, mm. these pagan holidays being um, promoted. You see, the list goes on and on, you see. So the day of the Lord, you know, Yahweh Bashim is at hand to where two thirds of you so called Negro Latin Americans are gonna be crying, y'all gonna be howling soon come. That's right, that's right. It reads on. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Mm. That's right. So the day of Yahweh Bashim is at hand. And when it comes, it's gonna come as a destruction from the Almighty. And they ain't talking about Allah, they ain't talking about Buddha. They ain't talking about the Hindu god of Sheba. They ain't talking about Santa Maria. They ain't talking about Haile Selassie. They ain't talking about none of these false gods who are no gods. This destruction that's coming is coming from a destruction from the Almighty, Yahweh Bashimah Shah. You see, that Yahweh Bashimah Shah is the one bringing the day to the Lord to where the two-thirds of you so-called Negro Latin Americans are going to be catching so much hell and crying. That's right. That's right, bro. Majunt 9, verse 9. This is Isaiah chapter 13, verse 9. Behold, the day of Yahweh Bashimah Shai cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger. And that's right. And when you look into that word cruel, it means to willfully cause pain or suffering or feel no concern about it. You see? And that's what Yahweh Bashimah Shai wants to do to two thirds of you so called Negroes, Latino, and Americans. That's right. They want you to suffer in these upcoming times. You see, they want you to go through all these different plagues and calamities that they're about to bring upon the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. You see, and when two thirds of you so-called Negroes start, it's like when two thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latino Americans start suffering in these upcoming times, guess what? Yahweh Bashi is not going to have no concern about it. You see, because they want they they want to do it to you. Mm -hmm. You see, so Yahweh Bashi Mashad is coming cruel. Both, so I'm gonna read that from the top again. This is Isaiah chapter 13 verse nine. Behold, the day of Yahweh Bashimah Shai cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger. And that's right. And how is Yahweh Bashimah Shai going to show that they're coming back cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger? Again, by all these different plagues and calamities that me and the brother was naming this whole time. Race riots, martial law, famine of food and thirst, marsh, um, martial law again, you know, um, um, diseases, famine mm -hmm. of food and thirst. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, end all be it, all the 200 million ICBM missiles. Right along with the chariots, with the one they call UFOs. That's how Yahweh Bashimah is going to show that they're coming back cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger. That's right. 
It reads on to lay the land desolate. And that's right. What's going to lay this land, America, desolate, uninhabited? Those 200 million ICBM missiles that these other nations are going to um, send to um, destroy this place called America. You see, once those missiles destroy this place called America, the only thing that's going to um, dwell in this place called America, mm -hmm. once America destroyed, is those, the, those desert creatures, those animals, they ain't that will withstand the heat. Mm -hmm. It says, and he should destroy the sinners the rub out of it. Mm -hmm. And that's right. So when those missiles hit, Yahabash and Mashah is going to destroy the sinners, the ones of you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans, who are transgressing the laws that's commands of the Bible, who are not keeping the laws that's commands of the Bible to the best of your ability. He's going to destroy you out of this place called America. You see? This is what the day of the Lord consists of. Bad times, evil. You see, the day of the Lord is a serious and, and, and dangerous time. Again, it's nothing to be joking and playing around with. Mm -hmm. Got a precept. Yep, yep, I got one. I got one too, man. Where, 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 <laughs> I got another. Yeah. You get your yeah, own you first. Had you, get, you sure? Yeah, I had the second edges for a minute. Come on, bro. It started popping my head now. Mm -hmm. I got, I got two in my head right now. Shoot, yeah, I got, I got two more. <laughs> yeah, I kind of got, got like three. Now, it's so, it's so it many. Is, you go bro, into, it man. is. It's so many. This is Jeremiah chapter eleven, verse eleven. Therefore, thus says Yahweh Bashmal Shai, Behold, which behold means to look. Mm -hmm. I will bring evil, evil means bad times, upon them. You see, so Yahabash and Masha is going to bring bad times, evil upon two-thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans. And again, me and the brother been going into this over and over, over and over. What's the evil, the bad times that they're going to bring upon you? Race riots, martial law, a famine of food and thirst, these brutal animals that they're going to unleash against the masses, diseases, you see, um, race riots. You see, the end all be it all, the 200 million ICBM missiles, right along with the chariots, which the world ignorantly calls UFOs, with the laser beam of fire coming down from the bottom of it. You see, that's the evil, the bad times that Yahweh Bashim is going to bring upon two thirds of you so called Negroes, Latino, and Americans. Mm -hmm. You see, this is the day of Yahweh Bashim It reads on. Which they, so like it, this is Jeremiah chapter 11, verse 11. Therefore, thus says Yahweh Bashim behold, I will bring evil upon them, which, which they shall not be able to escape. That's right, because when Yahweh Bashim bring this evil upon you, two-thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans, are not going to be able to escape, you know, what's going to come upon you, you know, and here, to the and here upon the face of the earth. That's right. Going back to Amos 5 and 18, mm -hmm. as if a man did fix my lion and a bear met him. And they went to the house and leaned his hand on the on wall and the serpent bit him. Mm. You see, you're not going to be able to escape the day of Yahweh Bashem and what Yahweh Bashem got in store for you. It reads on, and though, and though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. And that's right. So when Yahweh Bashem start bringing these plagues and calamities upon the face of the earth, you know, against two thirds of you so called Negro Latin Americans, guess what? Y'all going to be crying unto them. Mm -hmm. You see, y'all going to be sighing and crying unto them. But guess what? Yahweh Bashem is not going to hear you. He's not going to hearken unto you. Why? Because two thirds of you so called Negroes, Latin Americans, when y'all had a chance, y'all didn't hearken unto the servant, the prophets, you know, start with our apostles of the great millstone to the men on down, brothers like ourselves, mm -hmm. you see, to get the wisdom, knowledge, understanding the scriptures and apply it to your day to day life. Mm -hmm. You see, so because you didn't hearken unto us, the many Yahweh Bashem has provided y'all with, when y'all start catching hell, Yahweh Bashem is not going to hearken unto y'all. That's right. Bring yours up. All right, this is uh, this is uh, Malachi chapter four verse one. Mm. For behold, the day cometh. What day is that talking about, man? The day of the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, right? Yahweh being the heavenly Father, who the word only calls God, and uh, Lord Yahweh Shah, who the word only calls Jesus Christ, man. The day of the Lord cometh. So, like, I'm reading from the top. For behold, the day cometh. That shall burn as an oven, right? Mm. And we ain't talking about like no, like one of them, uh, them, them, them many ovens. We talking about one of them ancient ovens, man. Mm -hmm. That 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 the three uh, holy children was in. Uh, uh, I forgot how to pronounce their names. Uh, uh, Misha, Misha, and Abednego. Yeah, like Abednego brothers know the account where where the where the, where the king threw three in the in the furnace and saw the fourth and Lord Yahweh yep. right? That type of oven. The day of the Lord is gonna is gonna burn like that, man. Says when they threw them, when them boys in there, the people who threw them in there got burnt up That's right. before they got burnt up. But, uh, but in this account, from the top, Malachi chapter four verse one: For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, 
and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And right, who's the proud? First and foremost, you know, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man who is the wicked and the most proudest being on the planet, right? But what? It trickles down to you so-called two-thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, right? Everybody that dwells here in Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, right? You are the proud, and, and this place uh, uh, promotes the most wickedness, man. I'm sorry, I keep moving the page. And it reads... Oh, and, and, shall, that, and it reads, Yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble, right? And what is stubble? Stubble is used to kindle the fire, man, to make the flames erupt, man, right? And that day cometh, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, and the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch, right? And that day is going to burn up. All the wicked wickedness uh, in this in this place, and and the people included, man, right? And it says leave no root nor branch. And when once you once you once you remove a root of something, man, that's gone, man. That plant ain't coming back, man. That root is the foundation and the start of something, man. So what? Once the Lord uh, removes Esau, Edom, and you so called uh, and you two thirds of you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man, and you heathens, all the wickedness is gonna be wiped off off the earth, man. So only thing that's gonna dwell here is righteousness when the Lord is done with this place, man. Right, bro. That's right. And shoot, that was it on that. That's it on that. Mm -hmm. I got one more. This is Isaiah chapter 66, verse 15. For behold, which again, that word behold means to look. That's right. Yahweh Bashimasha will come with fire. Mm. And that's right. And what's that fire that Yahweh Bashimasha is coming with? Those 200 million ICBM missiles, right along with the chariots, which the word that calls UFOs, with the concentrated of fire coming down from the bottom of it. You see, that's the fire that Habashi Masha is coming with. It reads on, and with his chariots, like a whirlwind. That's right. So when Habashi Masha pop on the scene with those chariots, with the wind that calls your foes, they're going to be coming like a whirlwind. You see, because when you look at a tornado, a tornado, it comes through spinning real fast at top speed, mm -hmm. destroying anything in its path, anything in its, own, in its, in its way. You see, and that's how those chariots gonna come when they pop up on the scene. They're gonna come through like a whirlwind, destroying everything. You know, on destroying buildings, everything, trees, everything's going down, especially you wicked people. You know, starting with you so called Negro Latin Americans who are not keeping the laws that's coming out of the Bible. That's right. It reads on to render his anger with fury and his, rebu and his rebuke with flames of fire. And that's right. So, Yahweh Bashi Masha is gonna render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. You see, he's going to be, you know, on rebuke, rebuke you two thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans with the flames of fire. Again, those 200 million ICB missiles and the concentrated fire coming down from the bottom of those chariots, which is the word that calls UFOs. That's who he's going to be rebuking two thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans with because you didn't want to take because you didn't want to take the rebuke of, of, of the prophets. Mm -hmm. You know, start with our apostles, other great millstone that start with our apostles and elders of great millstone down to brothers like ourselves. That's right. Verse 16, for by fire and by his sword will Yahweh Bashi Masha plead with all flesh. Mm. That's right. So by Yahweh Bashi Masha's uh, on sword and fire, is he going to plead with all flesh? It says, in the slain, meaning the killing of Yahweh Bashi Masha should be many. So soon come, there's going to be a whole bunch of dead bodies out here, you see, being put to death. You see, Yahweh Bashi Masha is about to come back and just... Just wipe all you wicked people off the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. You know, and this, and again, this goes back to how the day of the Lord is going to be. That's right. That's you got right. another preset? Uh, I, I got hey, one more. Can I bring I it on now, bro? Man. Yep, this is Second Peter chapter 3, verse 10. But the day of the Lord mm. will come as a thief in the night. And that's right, man. The day of Yahweh Bashim al is going to come as a thief in the night. You see, because what? When you, when you look at a thief, and it's so like when you look at a thief, a thief, when he try to break into your house or, whatever, or into your car, or whatever the case may be, he try to get you when you're not paying attention, when you're not aware, mm -hmm. when you when you when you um when you're not um, least suspecting man. the water, bro. We're not mm -hmm. least suspecting it. You see, so that's how your hot body shots are gonna come. They're gonna come as a thief in the night when you're not paying attention, when you got your pants down, when you're sinning, mm -hmm. when you're all in your wickedness. That's right. And it reads, in the which the heavens shall pass away. With a great noise. And that's talking about Esau's rulership. Mm -hmm. Esau, the so-called white man's rulership, is going to pass away with a great noise. 
and with that great noise is going to make Esau, the so-called white man's rulership, pass away. Mm -hmm. Those 200 million ICBM missiles that these other nations are getting ready to send to destroy this place called America. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it reads on. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And that's right. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat because everything is made of elements. Mm -hmm. Your buildings, your cars, you know, um, people. Your flesh, yeah. I was about to say, yep. Your flesh. You see, everything is made up with elements. You see, so everything is going to melt. So I can read that part again. Mm -hmm. and, and it reads, And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. So, uh, so again, everything is made of elements. So every, um, everything is going to melt with fervent heat by those missiles, those 200 million ICBM missiles. Yeah, right. And that word fervent goes into what? Like immensely or passionately. or So, th so these flames, man, they're not going to be regular flames, man. They're going to have some umph on to it, man, because they're coming from the Heavenly Father, man. That's right. It ain't going to be just no, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm cool. Shoot, uh, since I'm a since I'm an Israelite, all I gotta do is get blown up. I ain't gonna feel nothing. Nah, man, you gonna feel what's going on with these flames. Man. That's right, cause when, the Lord put a spirit on them. That's right. That's right. And it reads, the earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. That's right. So everything you see in Esau's kingdom, you know, his society is gonna be burned up. Again, these buildings, these cars, you know, these trees. Everything you, you you wicked people, everything will be burnt up. That's right. You see, and again, this goes back to what the, the day, day of the Lord. Lord. Right. How it's really going to be. You that's see, right. so anybody that thinking that the day of the Lord is all good times, hugs, smiles, kisses, laughter, and so forth, on, you're sadly mistaken. The day of the Lord is an evil, and, you know, a, and, and a bad time. It's nothing to be playing around with. It's nothing to be joking with. It's a mm -hmm. dangerous time. Mm -hmm. That's right, brother. That's right. Like beautifully said, uh, Lord willing, we hope this uh, video was edifying to you. Uh, you know, you Akim, but and, and, and anybody that's watching, right? In truth and sincerity. But before we close it out, we're just gonna give all honor, all glory, and all praises to the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kodash. Next up, double honor to our apostles, Elder Gray Milson, who taught us the 100% truth for the Bible and who rule well. Peace, love, salutations to all the brothers across the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth and our diligence and this sincerity. And you know, until next time we say, Shalom. Shalom.